Hi everyone! In this video we're going to do another declutter for this specific time. We're going to look at my liquid eyeshadows. Most of them come in tubes like this, but there are some that are a little more funky in terms of packaging. So if this is the kind of thing that would interest you, please keep watching. I'll put in the upper right hand corner the link to the playlist for all the declutter videos that I have done so far. There are plenty of them to binge watch if you are bored at home and want something to do, either to look at a bunch of cool swatches or even just have in the background to play. I hope you subscribe to the channel by hitting that red subscribe button. Make sure you go follow Allura Beauty on Instagram also. And of course, check out any of the other videos that are on the channel. Uh, one of the recent ones we did was for Stila's new summer 2020 collection. So I will also link that for you to see if you haven't already checked that one out. All right, let's get to looking at my collection of liquid eyeshadows. And as I always say, this is my personal collection. It's not everything that you may have seen in videos. Just because I declutter something doesn't mean that's the right or wrong way to do it. It's based on my personal preference. And third, when I say I'm going to get rid of something from my collection, my first priority is try to pass it on to friends or family who want it. Second is to be able to give them away if they're new in a giveaway to viewers or to pass them on to somewhere like a woman's shelter that takes new or sometimes gently used makeup. And third is that if I have to dispose of it somehow, the priority is to recycle it. I'll put a link to TerraCycle in the description box below or to clean out the packaging and put it in the recycling bin. The very last resort is to actually throw it in the trash, which usually isn't necessary. All right, so the first step is going to be to dump all these out. I'm gonna count them and we'll see what our starting number is. Okay, so I'm gonna first check, make sure these are actually liquid eyeshadows. Okay, these are all from Mally. And in past videos, I've had trouble um, having things that are not in the right category mixed in, and then that messing up the starting number. So I'm gonna do a quick visual check to try to make sure that we are starting with all liquid shadows. I think we should be good with this category. Now, like I said, um, most of these are pretty standard, you know, in this kind of form, liquid eyeshadows. There are some that you might think, uh, that might be more of like a gel or a cream. Um, that might be true. There are some that might kind of toe the line in between two kinds of products, but I think I did a pretty good job of making sure that most of these, at least very arguably, can be considered liquid or sometimes maybe liquid slash creams. But because most of them come in this form factor, and trust me, when I get to my cream <laughs> and gel eyeshadows video, there are so many in that category already. So, um, you know, if something was borderline, I opted to put it in this category. So let's go ahead and do the counting. Okay, we are starting with just 60 liquid eyeshadows. The reason why I'm a bit surprised is because I, I mean, I like this kind of form factor for eyeshadows decently enough. So I am pretty surprised that I don't have more of these, but that may also be because I have so many potted cream shadows that it more than makes up for the lack, any sort of lack that I may have in this category. So we're not starting with that many, so that usually means that, you know, the number, the pure number that I get rid of is not that high either, but let's just see what we can do. My first step is to, or I guess I should say my next step, my second step is to look through them and see if anything immediately jumps out as something that I know I'm gonna keep or get rid of even without having to swatch it. So let's do that first. Um, First and easiest to decide are these ones from Mali because they've never been opened or used. And I am usually very impressed by the quality of Mali products. So I'm definitely going to keep these. Um, there are one, two, three, four, five of them. So I'm gonna set those aside to keep. I also have two Lorac 3D liquid lusters, but they seem pretty dried out in the bottles. Hopefully you can see up close they're not moving around in the bottles because they look pretty dry. Let's go ahead and open these, see if they are actually salvageable or usable. Oh, a lot of you often ask me what color is on my 
nails. This time it's Zoya's Lillian, which is this here. So I have two shades. The darker one is Amethyst. The lighter one, I don't know because the sticker on the bottom fell off. So usually these would be dispensed by pressing this, um, I forget what these are called, but nothing is coming out. And yeah, it's just, it is, there's still shimmer in there, but the liquid medium isn't there. So I'm going to go ahead and wash these out and recycle them. Oh, and then this one from Kiko, it is from their summer 2.0 collection and it is in the shade 01. Very pretty. And I don't think I've really used this, so I will also keep that, but that's pretty much it for first impressions. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to divide the rest of what I have into color families. Oh, and I actually have one more of those Lorac ones in the shade Rose Quartz. And this one is also dried up. You can tell inside the tube. So I will add that to the recycling pile. Okay, these color categories are very, very, very rough. Um, it was difficult with these kinds of products because so many of them are multifaceted. So in several of these instances, I actually didn't go on color, but more went on maybe depth or type. So for example, for these Stila ones, these are all duochrome ones. So I just put those together. And actually, before we jump in, I have a few of these Ellis Foss um, liquid eyeshadows. They have beautiful packaging, unique, like bullet style packaging. And I do really like this company. You don't hear them talked about at all, but this particular shade in E114, you can see I kind of have it all over my hands. The packaging, it, um, the packaging has been compromised. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the recycling uh, pile. All right, so let's get to swatching. Let's start with this category here, which wasn't color separated, but these are all by e.l.f. This is from like kind of a nudes collection. So um, the first shade here is nude linen. These are all matte. This next shade here is soft beige. Third is Blushing Rose. And fourth is Marvelous Mauve. I have no idea why it's called this. It's not mauve at all. Sometimes Elf on their packaging mixes up the shade names. Um, so it may just be a mistake. So I'm gonna keep the first one and the last one. I'm gonna get rid of these middle two just because I don't really like these warm tones on my eyes and these mauvey tones also make me look kind of sickly when it's used on my eyes. All right, let's start with these kind of just lighter shades here. First is from Rouge Bunny Rouge. This is in the shade Brocade Skipper. I really like this brand. Again, not something that's really talked about a lot. This next one is, I'm not sure what brand this even is, the E-Day Group, Huntington Beach. It's a shadow tint in the shade Froth. And I'm almost certain I got this in like a makeup subscription box. And then a L'Oreal Brilliant Eyes Liquid Eyeshadow. This is in the shade String of Pearls. Oh, this one is multifaceted in terms of the shimmer. That's beautiful. I actually really like all of these, so I think I'll keep all three. And then more kind of champagne-y toned shades. First is a Kaja Beauty Moon Crystal. They come in this kind of packaging, not the most convenient to kind of have stored. Um, this is Sparkling Eye Pigment in the shade Luminary. Everything in this line is super pretty. Actually, I'm pretty sure I did a swatch video for the shades in this line of products. So I will link that in the upper right hand corner for you to check out if you wanna see everything just reviewed from this line. Next is an addiction brand product. This is a Korean beauty brand. This is the shade, I think, uh, 003 and plein air very unique unique shade here it's kind of hard for me to describe next is another l'oreal brilliant eyes in the shade 
Crystal Shine. Then an e.l.f. liquid eyeshadow in the shade Brushed Copper. Again, there's no real copper tone to this, so I'm not sure why it's named that. And a Stila Shimmer and Glow liquid eyeshadow in the shade Kitten. Okay, I'm going to keep all of those except for the first one from Kaja Beauty. A couple of gold-toned ones, another e.l.f. one in the shade liquid gold and a l'oreal brilliant eyes in the shade crown gold okay i'm going to get rid of the first one from elf and let's go ahead and look at these duochromed ones they are all from stila and they're from the little white lies collection i also did a full oh no they're not all from them one is a shade mystery liquid eyeshadow in any case i did a dedicated swatch video for the Li little white lies line and for the shade mystery line so again i will try to link both or at least one of those um, this first one actually is a mini sized and this is from the glitter and glow line this is in the shade perlina and wow it's very multi-dimensional not just dual chromed this next one is in the shade fuchsia fiction next is the shade mystic and last is the shade mint myth and i'm going to keep all four of those Okay, moving on to um, general brown toned shades. Another Kaja one in the shade Tiger's Eye. I remember really liking the shade when I swatched it, but it's kind of clogged right now. So taking some toilet paper and very carefully seeing if we can unclog this. I'm sure you could take like a, a bobby pin or a needle and unclog that another rouge bunny rouge shade in atlas swallowtail love the naming that they have on their products too next is a rimmel scandalized product in the shade rich russet And another Rouge Bunny Rouge one. This is in Chiffon Ringlet. See how beautiful that uh, Kaja Beauty one is. It has a green flash with the brown base. I'm going to keep all four of these. All right, let's look at some purpley shades from Stila's Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow line. This is called Sunset Cove. Super pretty. One of Smashbox's always on liquid eyeshadows from the Hood Witch collection. This shade is called Dream Prism. Love this packaging too. Another one from Kaja. This is the shade Mystical. This is from Sephora in their Pantone Universe line, and the shade is Tuscany. Another Stila Shimmer and Glow in the shade Cloud. One of the Ellis Foss liquid eyeshadows. This is shade E116. And lastly, another Kaja one in the shade Magic. A little bit surprised at my decision, but I'm going to get rid of all of these with the exception of the Kaja Beauty ones, which is this third one and the very last one. Moving on to blues. This one is from ZC Cosmetics. 
This is a very unique brand. I'll put a link in the upper right hand corner again to the review that I did. Um, and this is one of their shimmering liquid eyeshadows in the shade 08. Super unique shade. Next is a Kaja Beauty one in Dark Matter. And a Smashbox one from the Hoodwitch collection in the shade Mindful AF. I think that's what it says. And I think I'm going to let go of all three of these. Okay, we're going to do some kind of ready pinky toned shades. Another Ellis Foss one, shade S301. Kaja Beauty in the shade Rose Quartz. C Cosmetics in the shade 09. Another Smashbox Hood Witch Collection one in the shade. These are really hard to read. It's some play on words for one night stand. It's one something night stand, but it's so small I can't read what it says. This is a Kevin Aquan, uh, what's the specific name? Color Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Oy! Deceit. I'm only going to keep the last one from Kevin Aquan. I put the deepest shades together. So the first is a L'Oreal Brilliant Eyes one in the shade Royal Onyx. Normal Scandal Eyes in the shade Slate Gray. And another one from Addiction, which is shade 02, oh no, 006 Swimming Pool. I'm going to keep the first one from L'Oreal, get rid of the last two. All right, last few categories. These are, I don't know, some other category of kind of brown shades. One is the Stila Shimmer and Glow in the shade Grace. This is, I think, a more miniature size from Lancome, one of their color design ombre uh, cream eyeshadows in Oat Smoke. and an e.l.f. one in the shade Molten Bronze. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all of these color categories just to see if there's any kind of overlap. These were more of the um, bronzy shades. This is another Sephora Pantone Universe Collection shade in uh, Caramel Cream. Oh, this one's actually much more like peachy toned. Royal Brilliant Eyes in Precious Lava. Another Smashbox one in the shade Bronzite Brilla. I think that's what it says. Rimmel Scandal Eyes in the shade Golden Bronze. Kaja in the shade Goddess. Oh, and I forgot to say this last category, although this is not a good representation of what I thought this color category would be, this last category was supposed to be more coppery shades. Next is Estila Shimmer and Glow in the shade Jezebel. And last is another Smashbox one, let's see, in the shade That's Fire. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of the Lancome one and the Elf one. And I'll let go of this Smashbox one here. And I'll let go of this Kaja one here. And the last one, which was another Smashbox one. All right, looks like I did decently well, but let's check by a number. I'm gonna go ahead and count the ones I am going to eliminate from my collection. 
Okay, there are a total of 26 that I am going to get rid of. So 60 minus 26 leaves me with 34 liquid eyeshadows left in my collection. Not too shabby. Okay, so my collection now fits in this little box here. This is probably not the container I'll keep them in, uh, but it works for now. So thank you for decluttering this time with me. Make sure you stay tuned for the many future decluttering videos that are upcoming, as well as the other kinds of videos I have on this channel. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you're staying safe and staying well. And give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.